Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to the Scale Model Outlaw. If this is your first time checking in, we appreciate you stopping by. We hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see, how about leave us a comment down there or a big old thumbs up. We like big old thumbs ups. Share us with your friends. And of course, a subscribe would be nice. Don't cost nothing, and we appreciate them. If you're a returning viewer, guys and gals, we definitely appreciate y'all stop appreciate y'all stopping by. Sorry, I gotta use my words. Uh, but we definitely appreciate you stopping by, checking us out, coming back. It uh it means a lot to us. Thank you very much. Today, what are we gonna be talking about today? Well, we've got a mail call, uh, and a quick update on the Volkswagen. I'm gonna keep it kind of short. Uh, over the weekend, I will be filming, but I probably won't be able to post until Monday or maybe Tuesday, depending on how things go. I am actually tearing my workbench that you guys can't see because it's behind you. But my workbench where I keep all my brush paints, yeah, I'm tearing it all apart and starting over. If you watch, ever watch the video, uh, well, I did a little short around Christmas time. If you go back to the shorts and check it out, it does a scan of the whole room, and you'll see the workbench. You'll see that I keep all my airbrush stuff over there, right there it is. There's airbrush stuff there, and the farther you go this way, which of course is off cam, there's more airbrush stuff there. All the airbrushes, the paint booth, and everything is over there. So, uh, but in front of me is my brush stuff, and it's getting a little complicated. I just picked up some more paints, which we'll do a video on those. But I picked up some more paints, and I need to make it more room. starting to get cluttered in here, so I want to redo the shelving. I will film it, and but maybe Monday or Tuesday before I post it. But <clears throat> before we get into the shop cards that I received on our mail call and the Volkswagen, we need to hear from our awesome, awesome, awesome sponsors, uh, ScaleFinishes.com and our good friends over at Iceman Collections. So let's go see what they got to say. Welcome back, guys. Gotta love uh, ScaleFinishes.com and Iceman Collections. Those guys are helping us out so much and they're helping you out. Going to give you some discounts, some free giveaways. Pretty excited about having them guys on board, man. They, Scale Finishes has been with us for a while and Iceman's new, and but we, uh, we're excited about having them on board. All right, so let's get right to it, guys. We've got the mail call first. Our good friend Tom or Thomas over at Plastic Buzzard Model Shop. Check out the color in that card, y'all. That is awesome colors on there. Mr. Thomas, thank you so much for the card. We definitely appreciate it. If you guys aren't subbed to Thomas, go over there and check him out. Does doing some great stuff over there. Really cool builds. And uh hey, if nothing else, he's got a super cool uh shop card but that's that's the least of the reasons you should check him out he's just a really good guy does really cool stuff over there so make sure you go check him out and uh there's the ur code i think i can get that up there maybe you can scan that ur code off of there uh, i put a ur code on mine or ul ul ur ur code whatever they call them. i put one on my card as well and i don't know if it works or not but it's a pretty cool idea next up mr glenn at 772 model garage gotta love them old chevrolet trucks really cool looking stuff mr glenn thank you so much for the card we appreciate you we definitely will be staying tuned into you and we hope that you stay in tuned into us as well and next up last but not least my bearded brother mr jeff lawless look at that cab over camera it's cool looking truck mr jeff we appreciate the card my friend you guys need to go check out his channel if you don't have him subbed already. Mr. Jeff is, and everybody, Mr. Jeff, Tom, and Glenn are all coming up with some great stuff, great ideas. Uh, be sure and go check them out. All right, so from there, we move on to the Volkswagen. 
Uh, if you haven't been following along, I am doing a uh, custom Volkswagen for uh, my local hobby club or model club. <clears throat> it's called Fast, which is Florida Automotive Scale and Trucks. Um, it's an IPMS club, but <clears throat> excuse me, I got a frog in my throat. But um, we've got a Volkswagen that we're doing. It's the Tamiya. Here it is. Tamiya 131966. 1300 Volkswagen, nothing really too spectacular about that, but we've decided to have the mother Volkswagen and daddy Porsche, we're going to have them make a baby, and when they make a baby, we're going to be excited about the baby, so the baby ain't done, but she's starting to get, she's starting to make a little bit of room, or make a little bit of headway. Got the uh, wide body kit on, which I had, you know, in the last video, you might have seen that. But since then, we have got the whale tail off the Porsche on there. Now, I didn't even bother to wipe it down. I've been sanding and rubbing on it. Uh, I didn't even bother to wipe it down. I figure you see it as is. Um, I'm waiting for the putty to dry. If you look real close, I don't know if you can see it that well. But where the uh, wing meets the... Um, Volkswagen itself. There's some putty there that we put in. We're waiting for it to harden up good. Then we can sand it down, shape it, make it look like part of the Volkswagen, not a big glob sitting there. But right now we're just letting it harden up. But there's the back side with the tail, side, front. We also did manage to uh, take some time last night while we were listening to uh, live on YouTube. That was be the one arm modeler was hosting. I'll be honest with you, I forget what he calls that live, but it was Mr. Senior or Terry's live. But Mr. Terry's been really sick, so prayers out to you, Mr. Terry. We hope everything's going good. Last we heard, you were in the ER. So uh, I hope you got out of there. Nobody likes being at the hospital, and I hope you get to feeling better. Uh, praying for you every day, sir. Praying for you every day. Anyway, I'm sorry, I lost track for a second uh, thinking about Mr. Terry, but. Um, uh, while they were cutting up and having fun on the live, I was listening and we reached up into the old pile up there where our scale finishes paint is and we dragged down some primer and we dragged down some matte black and we even dragged down some gloss black, but we're going to change what we painted gloss black, but we'll get to that in a second. But here's some of our pieces for the motor. This is a, uh, if you haven't, if you didn't see the first video, this is a 3D printed Porsche 911 flat four turbo motor, but it's an I believe it has aftermarket parts on it, but I don't know how well you can see it. And I do not want my crappy camera to not show you how good this paint is and have the 3D print as well. But it this flat black, or this is actually what he calls a matte black, came out so sweet. It was everything that I was looking for. Uh, let me try this piece. Maybe this piece will give you a little bit better idea. This would be the fuel injection system or a carburetor. I don't think it's a carburetor. I'm pretty sure it's fuel injection system, but that matte black is amazing. Came out really nice. Uh, there is a coat of primer on it first, and then we sprayed it with our matte black from scalefinishes.com. I've got an idea in my head. I started with one idea and I changed it up a little bit, um, but a lot of it's going to be matte black. This is the exhaust. Now we will take some of our clad, uh, out clad paints and we will blue up some of the uh, exhaust to give it that, you know, hot look, especially around the collector. Where's my pointer? <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Red, my pointer. So we've got, you know, here at the collector, if you can see that, trying to get them both working together. The collector will blue that up where it goes into the heads. We'll blue that up a little bit, get some color out of it. So it's just not a flat black blob laying there, sorry. Uh, so we use some of our l clads for that. I like to use the, uh, there's a blue in there. It's like a, I forget what they call it. Uh, it's like a hot rod blue. It's a transparent blue. That's it. Transparent or cobalt blue. And they have a hot blue too that looks pretty good. Um, any one of those works. And then we put some orange on it and a little bit of uh, red. And sometimes I'll even put just a touch of green on there, but not very often. Uh, here's another one of the, the other side of the fuel injector system. Again, I'm trying to show you guys here. It's real tough. 
to get how perfect that color is. I just, and it's not because I'm a great airbrush guy, because I'm really not, but the color just lays down so well. Came out exactly the way I was looking. We'll end up putting some wash in there, maybe a lighter colored wash, or possibly come in with our uh, uh, silverish uh, Sharpie and put some highlights in there so it kind of gives some definition. But uh, let me see, this is just a little crossover. This is going to be really tough to see. This is a little crossover that goes from uh, the throttle body to the throttle body. Nothing major going on there. This piece, we painted gloss black because my idea, because if you look at the motor, sorry, I already took it off its stick. So if you look at the motor, it's aluminum color. So I felt like the gloss black for this would go really well. And then doing some research, I saw where um, in on the one-to-ones, they had painted this piece. And honest to God, I don't know what they call this piece. It's some sort of cooling part of it because the fan hooks there. I'm not a Volkswagen guy. I'm a Jeep guy, but I'm not much of a Volkswagen guy, so I don't know the name of the parts. But anyway, back to what I was saying, they painted this the same color as the body and body matched it. And I thought that looked amazing. And it still will go because the body color that we're using is this... Uh, Wild Cherry from House of Colors. Again, a scale finishes paint, of course. Uh, so that, ooh, that's kind of showing the color a little bit there. But that will match in the body, I think, would look pretty cool. And it's dark enough to go along with the dark theme I have to the motor. So pretty excited about that. And uh, last but not least, we're going to leave the, look at the little fan that goes in there. Uh, I know, guys, the camera sucks. I, I bought that, or I got that fancy camera, asked for it for Christmas. And it's a really nice camera, don't get me wrong. But for close-ups, I don't know if I need to buy another lens for it or what. But the close-ups on it don't look any better than what my phone does. In fact, they don't even look that good. So we're going to keep continue rolling on our phone. And I'll use the big camera when I go out and do my one-to-one -one stuff in the Jeep. Well, all right, guys, I think we've got it covered for today. Uh, glad you all stopped by. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, like I said, we're going to work on, uh, watch as many videos as we can and make some videos while we're working on our workbench tomorrow and Saturday. And hopefully by Monday or Tuesday, we'll be able to post up something to show you what it looked like before, what it looks like now, and see what y'all think. But until then, y'all be safe out there. Have fun, be kind to one another, and as always, go to scalefinishes.com, load up your cart, go to scroll to the bottom. When you get to the bottom of your cart, there's a discount place there. Put in the discount code of OUTLAW10, that's OUTLAW10 in capital letters, and get you some of their awesome products and save you 10%. And when you get done there, hop on over to uh, Iceman Collections. And anything you can think of printed over there, uh, he's got it. Motors, diorama, uh, bodies, wide bodies kit. Yes, if you have been following along, yes. I stayed up till 3 o'clock this morning, our time, to make sure that at midnight, their time, which I believe is Pacific Standard Time over there where they're at, I tw before 12.01 rolled around, I had both of my Maverick kits ordered. I would be surprised if I'm, I mean, Iceman can tell you, but I would be surprised if I wasn't the first guy to say, give me one of those. <laughs> that was my goal anyway. So yes, they're coming. Can't wait for them to get here. Got some more resin products coming. Uh, we touched a little bit about uh, the different things we got coming in on the last video when we talked about Mr. Ron Coon resins. Uh, but we got some more stuff coming in from a few different people and we're getting ready to share we're gonna have like a, a video just on uh some different not every but just a couple different resin and other different printer companies um again i'm a roundy round guy these guys are a lot of roundy round stuff that i was looking at so excited about that those products to get here they're on order they're on the way uh those guys got to print that stuff up so it's not like you get it overnight but we'll we're happily wait on them but all right guys so until then Everybody, have fun, be safe, and keep on modeling.